My school boy football look this season. People them ready, you know. All right then, big up, man in cup. Only for your shield, you make we link up. We watch the champions cup, Ben Francis. What a cup, which team I win the championship this season. Yo, it's a Bobo Bandai for school. I got finished the league and beat now. Which you I got collect the golden boat and be the favorite for the people. Missy fans are roll out all about the flag from vehicle. Looking at the crowd, bus load of supporters from school and community too. People nothing at the stand, some are listening to radio, they must have watched it on TV too. Country We're staying on the football pitch for this segment on schoolboy football in Jamaica. And there was a clash between top zone G teams in the urban competition, the Issa Manning Cup competition, where St. George's College and St. Catherine High that was shown live on your home of champions. It just concluded moments ago. And of course, over to Winchester Park, we go for the recap. These highlights are brought to you by KFC. It's finger licking good and water. Land of good and water. And we have the KFC match highlights for what was such a good game. St. Catherine really, the first 20 minutes, they were all over. St. George's College creating chance after chance. Jordan Knight had to be alert, although he did put him, his team in considerable trouble many times. And here comes St. Catherine again. It was a lovely pass, this one. And it was a mix up again between Knight and his defenders. And Dwight Gentles narrowly, narrowly wide. They continue to come, and it almost seemed as if they were two steps ahead of the St. George's team. They kept on attacking, they kept on pushing. And this is a lovely ball over top by Matthew Spence. Furry Campbell forcing the first of what was a string of lovely saves from Amarion Brown. St. George's came close here, and it was O'Neill Mitchell who was quite close. The corners threatened all game for St. Catherine High. And Romain Walters somehow, somehow got his first goal of the season. Here it is again. Headed back across, volleyed. It's spinning, it hit the post, and that's one of the most obscure goals you'll see all season. And that's the goal that actually decided this game. What an effort it was. Matthew Spence fired one, but he was right down the middle. Omarion Brown comfortably dealing with this one. This save was so much more impressive, though. Matthew Spence again. Strong, strong right hand. It had to be done. Here it is again. Reflex. What a performance. What a save. You thought he was done there? Of course not. Acrobatically. Deflecting that one, Amarion Brown. Didn't even set his feet right, but he was still there. Second half action now, and this one was fired across. It could have been 2 0. It should have been 2 0. Oh, so close for St. Catherine High. Another set piece coming across. They were there again, and somehow, somehow that one was elevated too high. Just over. Just, just over. St. Catherine would hold on though, and they would get the victory they so craved. Sports Max statistics, it was a game littered with shots. You don't believe me, there were 32 of them. I had to do some quick math there. 10 shots on target between both teams. 15 fouls, only one yellow card on the day, no reds. Five offsides between both teams and 20 corners. Such was the pressure that both teams exerted. St. George's College actually flipping the possession into their favor in the second half. 54% of it. But all in all, it was the one goal that stood. The one Romain Walters goal that stood and gave St. Catherine High the win in this Zone G contest. KFC, it's finger licking good. And water, land of good and water. Very, very entertaining game. <laughs> yeah. the, the, the irony about this game for me, you see, lads, yeah, yeah. is 
the number of chances that were created and it's the most bizarre goal that actually scored. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that stood out for me as well. And Lijay with, with a recap. I got that it's his birthday today, Lijay yeah. Lij Williams. Congratulations, so, Lijay. Uh, ha ha happy birthday, young Lij. How, how old are you today, 12? I, I think he's probably in his 20s. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure how old he is, just, but just, I'd, I'd guess in his mid-twenties. Just yanking his chin. Yeah, but it was going back to the match. It was a really, yeah. really entertaining game. Um, but it's, it's, it's the two zone G leaders, huh? Yes. Both on 19 points. St. George's had the advantage on goal difference. Prince, yeah. But now St. Catherine find himself on top mm. with 22 points. Um, which, but it, it, it just speaks to... I think this discussion has been had on the zone before. How intense the competition in schoolboy competition has been this year. In, in Jamaica, both in the Manning Cup and the Costa Cup competitions. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's and right. This match is indicative of that. Yeah, that's right. You know, it's really, really good going. And St. George's College haven't won a Manning Cup title now in quite some quite some time. Over ten years, I mm -hmm. think. But um and I'm not sure if that's gonna change this year <laughs> no. because the, the competition <laughs> looks pretty steep. But St. Catherine is a tough team. Um uh, Craig Butler, who was here earlier on, just mentioned to me that St. Catherine is not an easy team to beat. No, they're, and, they're resilient. Uh, yeah, and I, I think um, based on the groupings now coming out of this zone, um, Mona, the defending champions, appear likely to be grouped with St. George's, George's College. College. So yeah. we'll see how that goes. Yeah, it's going to be keen to see because, you know, these, what I like as well is that it's not the traditional teams that are you know, really battling That's at the right. top of the league this yeah. year. Mm. Not the Wilmers, not the KCs. I mean, they're still there. Yes. But what we're seeing is these new, and yeah. I use the word here in air quotes, new teams coming to the top and, and joining the battles as well. Yeah. It makes and, it a lot and, more and, and looking strong. Yeah. Uh, let's check out what, hap what happens on Saturday. The round, round one of the Manning Cup closes off tomorrow, so. Yeah, so yeah. Calabar, Calabar will be playing Camper Down live on Sportsmax tomorrow. So that's one, that's a commentary game that the fans can look forward to. Calabar against Camper Down. Two former champions in Manning Cup football, mm -hmm. but neither have won in a while. In a while. Yeah. yeah. Calabar has been looking good so far this season, though. I yeah. mean, not great, but looking good, I think. And Price, and Price is, is doing a pretty solid job down there. I mm -hmm. watched them play in the rain a couple of weeks ago, and I thought that, hey, we're playing some football here, which is nice to see again yeah. for me because the kick and run down thing for me is not it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, break time. Back in a moment with more on the zone. Come enjoy the show. Issa, schoolboy football. Yo, Issa. Yo, Issa. schoolboy football look this season. People are ready, you know. All right then, big up, manning cup. Only for your shield, you make we link up. We watch the champions cup, Ben Francis. Walk a cup with team, I win the championship this season. Yo, it's a one day for school, I go finish the league and beat now. Which you, I go collect the golden boat and be the favorite for the people. Yo, busy fans are roll out all boat, be a flag from vehicle. Looking at the good, bus load of supporters from school and community too. People, nothing at the stand, some are listening to the party.